Good evening. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Just okay. a question. Uh -huh. Why? When? When? When is? Uh, when you say uh, good night? When? Uh, when, when you leave. When you leave a room, a house, or when you going to sleep. Oh. Because uh -huh. I, I have heard that you said good evening right after, uh, let's say, after six o'clock in, in the afternoon. Oh, yes, many people do it, even teachers, but that's a very common uh, mistake. Uh, uh, the problem is not the mistake. The problem is that we need to, um, uh, we need to uh, correct it. But uh, we say good evening when I go like this and good night when we're going to say bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh -huh. okay. That's the okay. way. You, you're welcome. Let me see okay, if I... You. I will say everything I good teacher. Hello. Uh uh good evening. How are you? Good, good evening, Lino. Jose Lino. How are you? Melissa. I'm fine. Oscar Marlene Xiomara. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello. Welcome. Welcome to another class. <laughs> After a long day, right? And how has the weather been? How's the weather? Strange. Yes, yeah, strange. <laughs> Why do you say again, that has been a strange? Because in all the day was um, raining and then have sun and then again yeah. raining. It's so strange. Yes, it's so strange, but it says very humid. So it means that it's very hot. That uh, every time that it gets very humid, the weather gets yeah. really, really, really hot. So that's that's an a thing over there. So, but uh, anyway, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, we're just uh waiting uh, like one minute more. Uh, people are coming. Hey, Tommy. Yes. Hey. Hey, sure. How much is raining on your side? How much is raining? Uh, it hasn't been little. raining a lot over here where I live. Uh, just right now it was like a little rain. Um. But not, uh, I thought, I told my wife that I was starting to rain, but it, it's not raining and it's very hot, very hot. I live, Where here, in, right now? I, Where I live you? here in San Salvador. Oh, uh, all right. In San Salvador, but it's, the weather is being awful. It's been burning. So, and where I live, it's, uh, uh, it, it it looks like it's starting raining, but at the end it's not raining anymore. So, and you know when uh, when it rains a lot, how do you people say that is an an oldest land? American people say when it's raining really really hard. It's you know raining what? cats and dogs. Yeah, it's raining cats and dogs. <laughs> yeah. So, and some places, by the way, in Chalatenango, they say that they have been raining cats and dogs, but not here. Well, it's, it's, it's going on things. Okay, guys, uh, uh, we're 17 and we're 30 on the group. Uh, well, we are about to finish uh, the second week. Uh, did you read the message that, uh, I think it was Paola Iglesias sent that this coming Friday or or uh, the day after uh, today, she's uh, updating the grades on the platform on the, at the advanced. So please, um, please work on that one. So um, I'm glad that I have I have seen some messages from you. I 
uh, I have an answer because where I work as uh, cell phones, mobiles are not allowed anymore. So that's that's an issue. But the, the topics that I saw is the same that we have been studying, right? So, so please work on that. Don't be afraid. And I understand that the, the exercises you can do uh, several times, not just one, right? So you can try and try. Am I mistaken over there or am I right? Ah, okay. But uh, uh, thank you, Oscar. But sometimes uh, I think they check your attendance because soon uh, uh, mark the time that you come in and the time that you go out. So don't worry about it. Okay, let's see how many we we are twenty. Okay. Meanwhile, the other uh, ten coming. We are going to do a very brief review. Yesterday, what was the topic that we were uh, discussing about? And what was the topic? Do you remember? Do you prepare and do you well? Yeah, we were uh, we were showing preferences, right? Uh, would prefer and would rather. So that's that's the that's the the topic that we were discussing. Uh, how do we use uh, would rather? And uh, oh. When do we use uh, we rather and we prefer? We we'll prefer. Prefer is infinitive and rather finite. Okay, yes. Uh, we use the infinitive with prefer. I will prefer to. And we use, uh, I mean, the infinitive, remember that is two. And uh, the base form of the verb with rather, yes. So let me show this one that I have over there. I have a very small chart and um, a very small chart over there. So, well, today I always, uh, the first slide that you see is the, the one that is, is the, the unit, uh, the date and October and the ways that we're going to start. So today is Wednesday, October 11th, 2023. It's okay if you say, uh, 2023. Uh, it's okay, but it's not very common. Um, but it's okay. And uh, so today is the seventh session that we have. I hope that it's been useful. Okay, here is what we are saying with uh, rather. Okay, so we use uh, what is the structure of the word, the word order. We can we can call it also word order. So, uh-huh, what is the word order? We got, we got what? We got? The subject. We got the subject. This is a math symbol. Plus. Plus. Plus Plus, wood. plus wood. And plus, plus rather. Rather. Uh-huh, plus. Plus. Base. Base. Base form Fair. of the verb. Uh, what are the verbs that you have over there? They are over there. Uh huh. What is it? The verbs are live, live and, and go and go. go. Okay, live and go. So uh, the first example it says, "I would rather live in a warm country." <laughs> this is the same example from the book, and and I got this one from another place. So and uh, and and. Uh, and the second example, what is it? I would what rather go to a different restaurant. Uh -huh. I would rather go to a different restaurant. Can we make this negative? Which one, Mr. Lopez? The, uh, uh, the second one, the second one. Yes, we can uh -huh. do that. Well, it will be negative, uh, Miss. I would rather not go to a different restaurant. I would rather not go to a different restaurant. Right. Uh, thank you, Lenny. And the first one will be, now let's go with the first, uh, first one. What will be the someone else? What will be the negative over there? Uh, 
The first one. Yes, the first one. This one. I would rather not live in a warm country. I would rather not live in a warm country. That means that you're saying, in what kind of country uh, uh, would you uh, rather live? In a cold country. In a, in a cold country where the weather is yeah. uh, kind of cool, uh, kind of cool, kind of cold country. So it doesn't get uh, too hot. But now everywhere is getting hot, right? So unfortunately. But uh, that's the meaning of the, the sentence. When you say, I would rather not live in a war country. So it means saying, I would rather live in a uh, cold country or in a cool country, whatever. So that's the thing over there. Okay, so, and uh, let me see if I can, uh, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, if I can, uh, okay, if I can uh, leave this one. So, on the first one, uh, no, on, not on the first one. So, the the for every uh, for everybody to see it. Uh, on the first one, so it will be the negative will say, "I can I use the contracted?" Oops, too small. Can I use a contraction with "I would"? Yes, yes definitely. Yes. What will be the contraction? I've, I've uh, remember good. Thank you. You say I've ra rather uh, leave. Oh, I rather not. Right. So that was the negative. Not go. Uh, to a different. Sorry, I, my typing was is not that fast as you guys. <laughs> Okay, so what is the connotation of the sentence if you're saying I I would rather not oh go the uh -huh. I rather sorry I put I rather not go to a different restaurant. What is the connotation of the sentence? What is the connotation of the sentence? What so do you probably mean? Means that, it means that you like to go. Uh, that you like to go to the same restaurant all the time. Exactly. Probably. You're. Uh, thank you. You're saying that uh, you will stay in that restaurant all the time. There could be many reasons. There could be because of the food, because of the service, because of the environment, because of the people who work over there. There will be many reasons, okay, that you will stay in that restaurant and not going to another. So, uh, very good, guys. So, that's the meaning. So, always think be beyond the sentence, okay, the meaning, like we are doing right now. So, okay. Uh, and... On the second one, prefer what is the what is the word order? We got. Okay, plus good plus prefer. Uh huh. Plus uh good plus prefer. Uh huh. Plus the infinitive too. Plus the infinitive plus the verb. Too, plus the verb. Because prefer, remember, uh, it's a verb. It's not a noun. It's a verb. So we have, we will have two verbs, prefer and live. So that's why we use the infinitive. But that's another, another good reason that I maybe I didn't, I, I didn't mention yesterday. So, so prefer is a verb. So that's why we have two verbs in a sentence. So, and, and I miss something over here. I miss apostrophe. the apostrophe. <laughs> I pissed the apostrophe. So the sec the first sentence, what is it? What is the first sentence? I would prefer uh -huh. to live in a warm country. Is uh, the same meaning as this one or it has different meaning? 
the same the same meaning the same idea the same meaning the same content uh, 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 God, sorry uh connotation so you are not saying something different i mean that uh, you will not like to live in el salvador but to live uh, for example i lived for a couple of years in san francisco california the weather there is very cool most of the year except two or three years uh three two or three days per a year it gets like very hot okay so and uh, she will rather uh, sorry she will prefer to meet on monday mm -hmm. on the first statement what will be the negative can we make a negative on the first one I will prefer not to live in a warm country. Yes, I will prefer not uh, not to live in a in a warm country. So we're going to put it here for everybody to see it. Okay. So I can use also. Let me put my English keyboard. Okay. I will prefer. Okay, preferred um, not to. Remember that the negative, as uh, you say, is before the infinitive. So basically, guys, that's the thing that we do. So please, if you got a very good sharpen, uh, I mean, pencil with a very well sharpened and a notebook, uh, um, you can write this one also. And then continue what is for today's class. One of the things that I helped me a lot and I did it, believe me, uh, is that I start saying sentences like I like I said yesterday, last night. Uh, um, I start saying sentences with certain topics. And then you might get it right away. According to the experts, so don't worry, don't worry, everybody, don't worry if you don't get the meaning or don't get the use on the first time, on the second time, on the third time, on the fourth time, on the fifth time. Don't worry. Expert says that at least you need 14, you need to be exposed, exposed to the topic in a different ways, like 14 to 27 times. So in order we got it um we got it uh in order we get it at the end and and use the topic as our own so don't worry i i don't get it i don't get it no nah, don't worry that things it i don't say that expert said that believe me thank you so much mr lopez i feel better now I'm still going to target. <laughs> <laughs> Is your English name? No, but it's true, but it's true. Uh, for example, I was telling my students today that uh, we were uh, basic English, of course, that we were studying uh, furniture in the house and the word refrigerator it was hard for me. Even nowadays, I don't pronounce it very that, very, that well, but uh, there is a word that I says uh, fridge. And instead of saying cock and dry low, there is a word that you can say crock. Meanwhile, you get the, the things over there. Hey, continue, guys. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Uh, can we use the contraction wouldn't rather uh, use not? Uh, yes, we can use and wouldn't. We can use the contraction uh, even in all of this. We can use. Uh, and instead of would not, would not, we can say wouldn't. And instead of saying could not, we can say couldn't. Okay. You can contract uh, most, uh, at least this auxiliary, this model verbs. They are model verbs. You can contract it. Okay. The only ones that you cannot contract it is my, may. They cannot be contracted. You say, I may not, I might not, but you can say I wouldn't, 
I couldn't, I can't. Um, Teacher, and we use uh, wouldn't, the sentence is going to be, I wouldn't prefer go to a different restaurant. I wouldn't prefer to go. I think so. I wouldn't prefer to go. Huh? It sounds good. It sounds good, but uh, um, I think it's not a very academic English. And this, and um, by the way, all the books like like Cambridge books, like Oxford books, uh, warm books. They are they they we teach English in an academic way. Remember that there is English that it can be used on the streets, right? So like like the one for example you say there. But I think you can say, um, I, you, I could say that it sounds under, it sounds understanding, but it's not the best way. And okay. you can give us an example with wouldn't. I wouldn't prefer uh, uh, to live in a warm country, but it's not sound. Uh, people will understand. If I say that on the streets over there back in San Francisco, maybe people will understand, but it's not academical. And, and your exams, your questions and platform, and this one is academic. Okay. Uh, do you get the, the idea what I'm saying? Yes. Uh, there is a lot of things that uh, people say on the street, but in uh, academic English, we don't say it that way. It's understood, but it's, it's not the, the best way to say it. Mm -hmm. So that's that thing. Okay, oops. I guess it was only on the second one, no? Oh, it was staying there. Let me close, let me stop my presentation. If I, ah, uh, no. Okay, now, yes. Okay, so back to where we were. Uh, share. Okay, I uh, remember that another another thing that we were talking yesterday, we were asking for favors, right? Or am I mistaken? Okay, anyway. <laughs> ah, no, education, <laughs> educational. Okay, so we have all, uh, someone over here. What's the listening? Just uh, what's the list? Just for fun. Just for fun. Have you ever done things just for fun, like reading, for example? Uh, have you done things just for fun, just because you like it? Like, what for example, you said huh? reading. You said reading, reading a yeah. book. Yeah, reading a book. But, okay, but just a question. Why do you say uh, reading a, a book is ah, just for fun? Ah, because reading a book for fun is when you, you do it yourself without anyone telling you to read that specific book, like the teacher, oh, okay. for example. Okay, so that's reading for fun. So I read some, I have read some books because the teacher at the university or the teacher at, at, um, at the school, they asked me to read it. And that's not just for fun. That's because I have to, okay? But uh, reading a book, for example, right, right now, and it's hard for me uh, finishing and I'm reading The uh, Glass Castle, which is in English. And uh, my sister brought it to me. Uh, and that's for fun because I am reading myself, okay? Not because someone else asked me. Have you uh, ever done something uh, because uh, just for fun? You know that if you, if I, I just, I just thinking about that. That if, for example, if you uh, want to translate this into Spanish, I mean it does not 
it doesn't make sense. And what fun is gonna be to read a book? I think it's entertaining, but not funny. You know? <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> but kind of. Yes, kind of. Not. I understand your 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 point of view. Uh -huh, it's, yes, it's kind of the way they speak and the way we um, we speak uh -huh. out here. You know. Yes, uh, yes, but uh, there we do some things because, for example, uh, let's say I want to learn French, but it is is my idea, is my goal, is my desire. So that's learning French for fun. Of course, you need uh, you need to speak a language, and that's true. But I have done some things that just for fun like reading a book, like learning a language. Well, actually speak uh, learning English, it was not just for fun. I had to, because when I when I got to San Francisco the first time, I didn't know any anything at all, anything at all in English. You know, a countryside boy coming to the city, then moving to the hell. So it was a, a, a must to, have to. But uh, learning for yeah. fun is something that you know. So tell me, think about something. Hey guys, think about something that, have you ever taken a class just for fun? Or and not even a class, something else? Uh, write it on the chat, please. I guess I got one message. Ah, thank you. Okay, thank you, Ivan. Write on the fun. Have you ever do something for fun? Think about it and tell me. Yes, Mr. Lopez. You know, I have uh, what? I uh, get um I how do you call this one? Uh when you go work with an eel and some uh, things. Uh okay. uh -huh. uh, how how was it? What was it? Crochet. Uh, yes, crochet in Spanish, yes. And then macrame also, there are some work. You know, a long time ago, I learned how to make macrame and uh, uh, like like very nice things, and I did it for fun. Okay, so uh, I I learned to fun to make origami. Ah, origami, that's very nice. Also, you know, my students enjoy the uh, doing the secret book. Uh, because they is open and the and the images things. Okay, guys. So we cannot stop over there because we need to. Uh, no, so look, uh, took a piano chord. For, ah, you took a piano chord for uh for fun. Yes, that's because it was your. your no, uh, uh, exactly. I like to listen to September Ah, you read about history, Oscar, about history. Because it's you do it for fun, and that's very nice because you 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 increase your knowledge about the world and the history. Okay, guys, so let's listen to three people talking about uh, uh, talking about part-time courses they took recently. What course did each person take? Please, we have Linda. Uh, just right now, words. We have Linda, we have uh, we have Linda, Rich, and Jen. Yes, uh, help me, help me with uh, okay. someone is having her uh, microphone on. Yes, yes, are you ready? Uh huh, are you ready? Uh huh. Okay, so let's uh, could you please take your notebook uh, and take notes? What course each person took? Let's listen. Page 52, exercise five, listening, are just you? for fun. Oops. Part A. Are you able to listen? Yes. Yes, okay. teacher. Yes. Listen to three people talk about the part-time courses they took recently. What course did each person take? One, Linda. So, Linda, what have you been doing with yourself? Not much. Oh, wait, that's not true. I took this great dancing class last semester. Oh, yeah? What kind of dancing? We learned African dance and samba. Wait. 
why would you want to learn African dance and samba? It sounds exhausting. And it's not like you would dance that way in the clubs. Oh, just for fun. You should try taking the class. You'll see that you learn more than just dancing. You also learn how to be more confident and how to interact better with other people. Hmm. I think with all that dancing around, I'd be too exhausted to interact with anyone. Two. Rich. So, how did you enjoy your cooking course? It was great. What kinds of things did you learn to cook? Well, it was a course on vegetarian cooking. I didn't know you were a vegetarian. Oh, I'm not. But a lot of people are these days. So I thought it would be useful to know how to make some interesting dishes without meat for times when I invite friends over for dinner. Hmm. Well, I guess that makes sense. Oh, but we learned more than just cooking. They also taught us all kinds of useful things about, you know, the health value of different kinds of vegetables and how to prepare them so that you don't remove all the vitamins they contain. So, uh, when's dinner? Three, Gwen. I just got my grade in the mail. I got an A. Wow, that's terrific. Congratulations. What kind of course was it? It was a course on how to open and run a small business. Oh, did it help? Yes, absolutely. We learned a lot of general principles and a lot about finance. Even if I don't open a business, I learned a lot about investing and managing money. Great. Can you manage my money? My finances are a mess. Page 52, Exercise 5, Part B. Listen again. What additional information did each... Okay, uh, do you get uh, what course Linda took? Yes, teacher. Uh, dancing. Dancing, dancing class. class. And dancing, dancing. Uh, and, and Yes, dancing African class. dance and samba. That was for fun, eh? So this, yes. is, this was for fun. She wanted to do it. And what about Rich? Cooking uh, parts. Cooking parts. Vegetarian. Uh, vegetarian vegetarian cooking. cooking. Vegetarian cooking, that's why. And what about gin, grain, something like that? A business. Small business. So small uh -huh. business. How to run a small business. <laughs> Someone was telling me that uh, um, last year that uh, many of us, don't get our own business because we're afraid of so but we need to learn how to run a small business okay let's listen to the second part listen again and what each person learn take notes please person learn one linda so linda what have you been doing with yourself not much oh wait that's not true i took this great dancing class last semester Oh, yeah? What kind of dancing? We learned African dance and samba. Wait, why would you want to learn African dance and samba? It sounds exhausting. And it's not like you would dance that way in the clubs. Oh, just for fun. You should try taking the class. You'll see that you learn more than just dancing. You also learn how to be more confident and how to interact better with other people. Hmm. I think with all that dancing around, I'd be too exhausted to interact with anyone. Two, Rich. So, how did you enjoy your cooking course? It was great. What kinds of things did you learn to cook? Well, it was a course on vegetarian cooking. I didn't know you were a vegetarian. Oh, I'm not. But a lot of people are these days. So I thought it would be useful to know how to make some interesting dishes without meat for times when I invite friends over for dinner. Hmm. Well, I guess that makes sense. Oh, but we learned more than just cooking. They also taught us all kinds of useful things about, you know, the health value of different kinds of vegetables and how to prepare them so that you don't remove all the vitamins they contain. So, uh, when's dinner? Three, Gwen. I just got my grade in the mail. I got an A. Wow, that's terrific. 
Congratulations! What kind of course was it? It was a course on how to open and run a small business. Oh, did it help? Yes, absolutely. We learned a lot of general principles and a lot about finance. Even if I don't open a business, I learned a lot about investing and managing money. Great! Can you manage my money? My finances are a mess. Okay. Uh, what did Linda learn about it? Uh, let me ask someone over there. Uh, Jorge, Alberto, what did Linda learn about it? Remember, Jorge, uh, or uh, all, all of you, that whatever you say will be okay. 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 Yeah, yeah. For me, I learning to dance in African samba. Uh huh. And and what else? Uh, additional information. Okay, that's good. Okay, Sara Lisa, uh, what additional information we have over there? Uh, she learned how to be confident and interact with others. Uh, how to learn confidence and interact with others. Silmara, and um, uh, additional information. For Rich or Linda? Uh, 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 or, no, Lin uh, Linda, Linda, Linda. I had the, the same that. The, you had the same. One. Yeah, okay. All of you were right. So you were saying things in a, in a, in a, in a different way. So confidence. You know, now briefly, I was in Karate Kempo back there in San Francisco, like a year. And uh, we don't just learn how to hit people. We learn discipline. We learn uh, uh, getting confidence. Yes, Giovanni? Uh, just for double check, I want to make sure about something. Because uh -huh. in the chart, I'm able to see that how to be more confident. And I think it's interact better with people. Yes. But I'm able to see indirect. Yes, exactly. Interact with people. You even you get more confidence when you interact with people. When you read a lot, reading help you a lot. Uh, uh, talking because you learn something. But you're right, Stanley. Okay, Rich. Uh, what if, uh, uh, what else additional information that uh, do we get from him besides uh, vegetarian cooking? He learned. He learned a. Uh, more about vegetables, uh, they are healthy for people? Yes, uh, I'm going to uh, put the information, yes, I, at the health value of food. And uh, you're right, you say this, this thing in a different ways, different words. Okay, thank you very much. And what about Owen, because of the time you're training? Uh -huh. He learns to handle the principles of finance. The principles of finance, investing and managing money. Yes, the principles of finance. Yes, how you manage your money. Even the, the guy says, uh, uh, he says something about it. <laughs> I, I don't recall it right now. Okay, so, uh, as, well, uh, we're not going to work in help uh, because of the time is, is running. Uh, but uh, I will ask uh, a couple of you, the ones that Lino Alvarenga, Jose Lino, I guess. Do you like English? Yes, I like. And why, Lino? Uh, it's an it's a opportunity to is, is, is speak to uh, other people. Uh, for example, USA, England. It's very important. Uh, now other cultures. Yes, okay. uh, I practice in English and in my work. Is uh people come here. Uh, okay, good. And... good, good. Yes. Thank you, Lino. Thank you, Hector. Briefly, in a very brief way, Hector Perez. Uh, do you like English? Why? Uh, yes, teacher. I like English because it is the most the most uh, language important in the world, mm -hmm. and we can uh, we can looking for a new job or yeah. 
Better opportunities. Better opportunities, that's right. You get better opportunities, uh, you can connect, uh, you can talk to people around the world. Uh, Ana Ivania, uh, do you find pronunciation difficult when you speak English? Yeah, uh, uh, yes, teacher, a little. Uh -huh. Is uh, is necessary? Um, I more practice for me. Okay, you need more practice, but your English is getting good. It's going on the way. It's let me good. Tell you. It's let a me language, universal language. And yes, it's very important for me. <laughs> Exactly. One of the things that I didn't say at the end when I said that experts said that you need to be exposed about the, the most important thing that like you just said, never give up. Okay. Continue. Even you make a mistake, you know when I know when I make mistakes. And um, even though you make a mistake, don't give up. Okay. And uh, let me see someone else. Uh, Gabriel Hernandez. Hello. Do you find pronunciation English difficult and English difficult? Gabriel, are you there? Oh, Carla Selena, what about you? What do you think? For me, teacher, yes. Mm -hmm. The sound is very difficult for me. The sound is very difficult for you. Well, I know someone, uh, actually it's my, my sister's husband. Uh, he was here and he's Canadian and he said, you know, it's very difficult Spanish. When I say, when should I say él and when should I say ella? So let me tell you that it's more difficult if we spoke English and we wanted to learn Spanish. That would be, but you're on the right way, Carla. You're on the right way as all of you. Um, what can you do about it? What can we do about it? Practice. Practice. Other ideas? And how will we practice? Talking with someone. Listen, listen, listen to music. Listen to music. See the movie music. in English. TV movie in English with subtitles. And in English. Yes. Oh, read the books in English. Read the books in English. Find uh, excellent. Uh, uh, read the books in English. You starting with basic ones. Never start with high topic book. That, that's why if you read a book English, I will suggest this on you at the end of the course. Uh, there are some ebooks. So always start with the, your right level. Is the book uh, according to the level? It hasn't been. So is is it? I mean, uh, what should I say? Is not to be so easy and not to be very hard. So it has to be at the right level, challenging for you, but you understandable at the same time and make you learning. So that's it. so. Please, that does become okay. So there are many things that we can do over there. And how do we learn new words in English? Reading. The reading, reading. practicing. Write down on the uh, paper. Write down on the paper, repeating the words. And basic English, and even here, is very important repetition. Okay? So it's repetition gets... Uh, it helps a lot get the get the language itself because you speak and you listen okay to yourself so that's the way making sentences with then exactly okay there we have uh, about the conversation play the audio who is taking french we are going to conversation oops by in 20 minutes who finds pronunciation difficult who writes new words on pieces of papers? Please write your ideas over there. And... Page 52, exercise eight, conversation. Maybe I should try that. Part A, listen and practice. So how's your French class going? 
Not bad, but I'm finding the pronunciation difficult. Well, it takes a while to get it right. You could improve your accent by listening to language CDs. That's a good idea. But how do you learn new vocabulary? I always seem to forget new words. I learn new English words best by writing them on pieces of paper and sticking them on things in my room. I look at them every night before I go to sleep. Hmm, maybe I should try something like that. Oh, by the way, the speakers are uh, were you uh, the speakers are Kelly and I don't remember the other guy. Uh, when I guess, okay. So, but Kelly, do you have the manual over there? Who are the speakers on the conversation? Kelly and who's the other one? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. There is a well. Kelly is the girl. Let's say the girl and the man. Yeah, Kelly. You. Ah, okay, good. So let's listen again. Who is taking French classes? Who finds pronunciation difficult? And who writes the new vocabulary on piece Page of paper? 52. Exercise 8. Conversation. Maybe I should try that. Part A. Listen and practice. So, how's your French class going? Not bad, but I'm finding the pronunciation difficult. Well, it takes a while to get it right. You could improve your accent by listening to language CDs. That's a good idea. But how do you learn new vocabulary? I always seem to forget new words. I learn new English words best by writing them on pieces of paper and sticking them on things in my room. I look at them every night before I go to sleep. Hmm, maybe I should try something like that. Okay, who's taking French classes? Kelly. Kelly. And who finds pronunciation difficult? Kelly. Kelly and who, too. And who writes the new words on pieces of papers? Peter. Peter. Ah, okay, that's uh, a one G. Okay, but Peter, it was the guy anyway. Yes, exactly. Okay, it was one G. <laughs> Peter. Okay, good. So that's, uh, there are many things that we can do over there. So look, uh, this is uh, Wun Yi. Eh? What do you see on the picture over there? On the one that the, uh, Wun Yi is thinking about. He's reading, reading the text. Uh -huh, he's reading the, the, the words on the piece of papers. Okay, he, um, uh, Wendy, Paola, Lopez, hello. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Uh -huh. Good evening. What is he? What is uh, one G or the guy Peter uh, reading the the words? Um, in Spanish, please. Uh, me me perdí. <laughs> no, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, look at the picture over there. The one yes. this one. Uh huh. He's lying on the, his bed. So he is in that. In what room of the house? Repeat, please. And what? In which room of the house is uh, the man? Is he in the bedroom? In the bathroom? In the dining room? In the bedroom. He's in the bathroom. Yes, and he's a uh, look of where he has all the pieces of paper. Okay. So, okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you, Miss. Thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. And you're welcome. My pleasure. Okay. So, age fifty-two. Again, Exercise eight, conversation. Maybe I should try that. Part A, listen and practice. So how's your French class going? Not bad, but I'm finding the pronunciation difficult. Well, it takes a while to get it right. You could improve your accent by listening to language CDs. That's a good idea. But how do you learn new vocabulary? I always seem to forget new words. I learn new English words best by writing them on pieces of paper and sticking them on things in my room. I look at them every night before I go to sleep. Hmm, maybe I should try something like that. Okay, that's the guy. So he does, uh, he writes the words on pieces of paper. Okay, so, oh, Barbie, listen to other uh, people explain how they learn 
words in a foreign language. What's foreign? What is foreign? Another another language. Language. Yeah, for another Trajero. country. Is, yes, exactly. A uh, language that is not your own language, for example, our is uh, our uh, mother tongue is Spanish. So English, we spoke English as a foreign language, right? So what techniques do they use? I think, uh, let's see, answers. There are two people. Page 52. Exercise 8, Part B. Listen to two other people explain how they learn. Excuse me, just write notes, uh, words or phrases in order to take notes only. Learn new words in a foreign language. What techniques do they use? 1. I keep a record of new words I come across. Then I make up study cards. I write the word on one side of the card and the meaning on the other side. Oh, and I always include at least one sentence with a word in it. Then I go through the cards whenever I have some spare time, like when I'm waiting for my laundry to dry or on the bus, and study the words until I know them by heart. Every week or so, I organize the cards into categories. You know, I put all the words together that have to do with food or work or home or school whatever I can find that my new words have in common. Okay, so great. You already said, what does he do? One is to make a sentence with a word. Okay, he, uh, one is to make a sentence with a word. Someone else, please, thank you very much. And what else? He used papers side to side in the car. Yeah, oh. he used papers and write in both sides. One side he write the words, and another side he writes a sentence. And what else does he write about the word? The? Oh. Uh huh. If I look in a dictionary, what that, uh, so if I look in a dictionary, what do I get from a, uh, from the dictionary? If I take time to order in different topics, food. And yeah, food. he organized and different. I get the meaning. He write he write the words on one side and the other side. He writes the uh, the meaning and and the in a sentence. Okay, good. Let's listen to the other. Two. I keep a vocabulary notebook. It's organized alphabetically. Whenever I hear or read a new word, I write it down. Then when I have time, I look it up in my dictionary. Then I put down some key information about the word. You know, whether it's a noun or a verb, and some examples of how it's used. I go through the notebook and study the words as often as I can. I really believe that the only way to learn new words, even in your own language, is by memorizing them. Melissa, and your own words, Melissa and Stefana Linares, and your own words, what does she do in order to learn a foreign language? Melissa, are you there? Uh, hi, hi, Carla. Uh -huh, and your own words, uh, what does she do to learn a new a foreign language? And your own words. Any ideas, Melissa? Um, um, no ideas right now? Uh, no. Um, uh, but don't worry, Melissa, you'll get it. Okay, uh, because of the time. Um, so what does she do? She uh, reads a book and she studies the words okay. that she is reading and she memorizes uh, the main yeah. mm -hmm. thing memorizing in English. 
Yes. Uh, yes. P some people memorize, and there are some topics on, like, for example, some verse that you need to memorize. But uh, basically, you use uh, you use the words, and now you you speak a uh, very uh, be good English, a good English. You know that uh, it's not memor just memorizing is by practicing. Okay. So, but uh, anyway, thank you to all of you. Okay. So thanks to all of you, and uh, woof. Okay, I want you to go to the to the conversation. You had the conversation on the manual over there, and um, uh, Kelly and uh, could you complete that uh, sentence, please? Oh, by the way, the grammar is we're going to practice what? Why are we going? Plus by, plus yeah, by plus Sharon. Go to the conversation over there and check it out and complete that sentence. You could improve your accent by listening. By listening to language CDs. Yes. I learn new English words best by I look at the conversation. Grabbing them on right. pieces of paper. Uh -huh, by writing them on pieces of papers. So we are going to, man. Uh, well, according to my to my uh, watch clock over here, it's uh, we still have like like five minutes. Okay. So by writing then, this is a very easy topic is uh, by listening, by writing, by reading, by going, I mean, by driving, by practicing. Every verb that we have after by, we have the ING, we use the ING form. For example, practice by, by Jaron, so the grammar. Listen and read and look at the conversation, at the sentences over there. Page 53, exercise nine, grammar focus. By plus gerund to describe how to do things. You could improve your accent by listening to language CDs. I learn new words best by writing them on pieces of paper and sticking them on things. The best way to learn slang is not by reading newspapers, but by watching movies. So how do we learn English? By practicing, okay? By memorizing sometimes uh, special verbs and sentences. And uh, how we improve our speech, our, our, um, um, our talking? By writing, by speaking, by saying words. So that's the way that we use by. So by plus Jaron to describe how do we do things. Um, how do, did, uh, did, uh, did I learn uh, driving? By practicing in a car. How did I learn uh, riding, uh, 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 to ride a, uh, a bicycle? By riding the bicycle, okay? So this is the way that we learn um, use by. But look at this at the second one. Uh, yes, Joselino? I remember a uh, partner in my job uh, when he listened to uh, words right in a uh, little, little page in uh -huh. input in the cell phone. Yes. yes, you know there are there are some kids. Not everybody learn English like that, but in cell. So there are some kids that they speak English by playing games, uh, video games. So that's the way. And I have a student. Uh, she doesn't know very much about English. Right, right uh, now, right now he is a teacher English. English teacher. Yes, we are we're learning English by listening to Mr. Lopez or listening to the teacher. 
by listening to the teacher. Exactly. But how we're learning? By listening, by reading, by talking, um, by sharing ideas. You see, all of the verbs that I use, they are in ing. So, and uh, oh, it's just like, okay, guys. So, and we'll stop here. Let me just, but we advance tomorrow and we'll finish this one tomorrow. So, I will try, uh, well, let me uh, see, uh, check your um, your attendance. Uh -huh. Your attendance because time is over. Just let me make it. Okay. Uh, uh, Ana Ivania. Present teacher. Good. Daniel Aleja, Alex Alejandro. Yeah, Janis. Teacher present. Okay. Edgar Fernando Portillo. Edgar. Eh, Eduardo José Melgar. Eduardo. Francisco Antonio Calderón. Present teacher. Eh, Gabriel José Hernández. Gabriel José. Giovanni Stanley Flores. I'm here. Eh, Héctor Iván Pérez. Present, teacher. Eh, Iván Ebrahim Ramírez. Present, teacher. Eh, Janet Carolina Rivera. Janet. Jorge Alberto Rivera. Present, teacher. Eh, José Lino. Present, teacher. Julio César. Julio César. Eh, Campos, Carla Selena Hernández, Carla, present teacher, Carla René Delgado, present teacher, eh, Catherine Lisbeth Espinosa, present teacher, eh, Luis Eduardo Méndez, present teacher, eh, Marlene Elizabeth Valle. Present teacher. Eh, Melissa Stephanie Linares. Present teacher. Michelle Beatriz Diaz. Present teacher. Eh, Neptalia Antonio Mejía. Present teacher. Eh, Oscar Alexander Santana Reyes. Oscar, eh, Oscar Obdulio Amador. Present. Thank you. Eh, Rebeca María Rosales. Rebeca. Eh, Romeo Vladimir Rosales. Sara Elisa Belloso. Present. Eh, Sofía Elizabeth Pérez. Present. Wendy Paola López. Present teacher. Eh, Xiomara Violeta Salazar. Present. And Jenny Carolina Ardón. Present teacher. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow and have a great night. Sleep time. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. You too. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.